There's this fine line that you have to uh, walk between by being assertive so that you can get past the gatekeeper and then being a complete hole um, that the gatekeeper is never going to help out in a million years. Hey, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel. My name's Coach Carroll. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about how to deal with the gatekeeper. You shall not pass! And this is in the sales process. I've got another video, maybe Andy can drop a link down in the description below of three tips to get past the gatekeeper. But today I'm going to talk about particularly how to deal with the gatekeeper, okay? So I got three tips for you today. They're pretty simple, uh, but they are important nonetheless. So let's get right into it. Number one, you have to be professional and speak with confidence. Uh, if you're saying ums and uhs, they're gonna sniff that out. Also, if you simply don't sound important because you're not speaking confidently, uh, you're gonna have a problem getting past that gatekeeper. So number one, speak with confidence, okay? Number two is get the person's name. So many times I see salespeople in call centers or just entrepreneurs or maybe individual sales reps, they'll screw up because they don't get the front desk person's name, that, that gatekeeper, right? So now when you do the follow-up call, like when you call them the second, third, fourth, fifth time, you're not sure who you're talking to or if it's the same lady, right? So if, if the front desk gatekeeper, and listen, I don't want people blowing me up in the comments, so we're gonna use a guy's name here, uh, Bob, right? Bob is the gatekeeper. And so when I call and it's ring, 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 hey, thanks for calling ABC Supply Company, this is Bob, I'm gonna say his name back to him. Bob? And he'll go, yeah. So now that helps me remember it, but I'm also writing it down. Because now when I call the second time, the third time, the fourth time on the follow-up side, when they answer the phone and say, thanks for calling ABC Supply Company, this is Bob, I can say, hey Bob, it's DJ again, how you doing? Right, and, and maybe if he answers the phone, he says, thanks for calling ABC uh, Supply Company, how can I help you? I can say, is this Bob? Oh yeah, who is this? So having that person's name is a little more connection that you can have when you make that sales call. So speak their name, write their name down is tip number two. Tip number three is be professional. Um, you know, there's this fine line that you have to uh, walk between by being assertive so that you can get past the gatekeeper and then being a complete um, that the gatekeeper's never going to help out in a million years. So you have to walk this fine line of being professional. You know, be respectful, it's still a human being. You still need to talk to them in a way that you would talk to any other professional. But by doing these three things, it can help you overcome your fear of cold calling. It can help you get past the gatekeeper. And it can help you make more sales. So uh, those are three quick tips, short little video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let's talk a little bit about uh, this down in the comment section. Leave me a comment on a way that you think uh, you have to use or utilize in order to deal with a gatekeeper as well. Um, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Coach Carroll. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to the channel to be notified when we drop new videos. Over here's the video that I recommend you watch next. And last but not least, over here you can click to get my free book, Phenomenal Phone Calls. We'll see you in the next video. Here's to your success.